Don't go in that bunk. I was there today. Oh, no, don't do that. How far is that? Hit your four. You haven't cleaned them since in 12 years. Now, Trevino punching a four iron. Stiffish breeze, and that's looking beautiful right at the flag and a little gem. Supporter in the crowd. Now here's Lee Trevino for a two, and it curved too quickly. Just didn't have the pace to carry it into the hole, and I think the great man will just get that out of the way. So that's a three for him. The middle of it. It's very gusty, windy, and quite chilly, in fact. 450 yards. A bunker faces the players from the tee, which they can easily uh, get into. Lots of trouble down the right. And there's the wind that he takes. Hook on this thing somehow to keep it straight. Lee's hat off, and away it goes. That's fine. Now Trevino, three iron, trying to punch it, fight the wind, which is gusting away from right to left, getting it chasing up and up and up and up and up, and that is an absolute little star of a shot, and uh, rather unlucky to go as far past as he did. Wonderful shot. Trevino for a three after that superb second shot. Nope. And Trevino gets his four. <laughs> no sooner hit it. All right, y'all back here laughing. Oh, Terry has an awkward one here to halve the hole with Trevor Brooking and to score half a point for his side. And on a blustery day like today, difficult to get the ball near the pin. Trevino first. One eye. Play one of his little fancy ones, aiming it up the left, trying to curve it left to right and let the ball run for it. He's chased it on. Trevino for a two. And now the twelfth hole, our sixth, here on the King's course. Tap it hen, 399 yards, and a fair old wind blowing now as we come to the high part of the course and a formidable carry for our celebrities over the big bank and the two huge bunkers that stare you right in the eye from the tee. Here's Trevino. A super looking drive from Trevino. Just down the right hand side, will it spin out onto the fairway? No, but it's, as you can see, sitting up. No, Trevino, eight iron. Leave it alone, win. I can't believe that wind blowing yes, that hard. That you know what it is? You can't yeah. feel it here. No, you don't feel it. <laughs> hey. Oh, they soon forget, Terence. Trevino, little chip with a seven iron. Oh, Perfect. Iron. Nice little touch. It's Trevino for a four. That's what you get for laughing at my pot. <laughs> I'm putting for an eight here. Is that a gimme? Good position. Well, that's where the most people are at. Let me see. That's Sure. Trevino. Good job, You're the only man I know who can speak and hit the ball at the same time. No, he can do it. Do it right here. Do it right here. down. Yeah, we never. I never try to hit one hard till the last. Oh, he's got away with it. He's still got a four now, Trevino. Again with that one iron. No, I didn't cut it. Though. Always trying to play a shot. Yeah. Lovely just to wander along and knock the ball forward and punch it onto the green. Steely look. 
As he gazes at Trevino, trying for a three, up the hill, right. up, 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 Not up. Right. And again, the perfect line. Not enough punch, but still a par four. Um. Over the years and lots of threes and if they get a par four they're very disappointed now Trevino trying to shape one in here with his driver going down the shaft uh -oh. could be is in the it? bunker no no when brought it back didn't cut it enough for our clubs and just caught the sand Trevino Hard. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Little hard, hard. Little hard. Right. No. Little hop. Little hop. So that's a four. For Trevino, three for Zella, so Fuzzy steals a point from Lee. Little bad hop, that one. Oh, oh I'm with you. Oh, mercy. <laughs> Sakes, That's in the bunker. Yeah. That's uh, the way it's going today, anyway. It's literally not like the bunkers in Muirfield. No. I can see where the hell I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in Muirfield, you can't see anything. So. Oh, I hit a little fat. Hit it a little fast. So Trevino's played two. Trevino, six iron. Third shot. Oh dear. Oh dear. Great shot. Beautiful shot. And still a chance. Right on the ladder. He's four. only 30 yards off line. Hey. <laughs> Very well if he gets down in three or four from here. Gives it a, a mighty old clunk and it's hopping and running and going and looking rather good and slowing down and it, it wouldn't, it can't. It, <laughs> the greatest punt I've ever seen in my life. Buzz is giving him the kiss of life. Oh, the hell of the Barnet. What a putt. Really counts. <laughs> uh -uh. Oh, Trevino. This for a four. And it's not turning. Uh, we don't make any difference now, baby. The lights have gone out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, how about that for a grandstand finale? And do you think that's the longest putt you've ever seen hold? Peter, that's the longest putt I've ever seen held, and, and I've played in a mini golf tournament, but it really didn't make that much difference. We had, I played so badly, and, 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 and my partner kept getting the ball in the air, and he's used to passing it on the ground. <laughs> and I think that's what got us. But I said to you before, in 1970, I had a putt of about 200 feet on, on, at St. Andrews because I aimed to the wrong pin, but I didn't make the putt. But that was the best putt I've ever seen. <laughs>